4,000 years ago, Stone Age Britons raised this mysterious monument, Stonehenge. Nobody knows how they did it, how they moved and stood these massive stones. It's a scientific mystery. This man swears he's cracked. He's building his own Stonehenge in his Flint, Michigan backyard to prove it. Wally Wallington's not a scientist, but he knows a thing or two about moving rocks. That's a 300 pound block. This is a 1600 pound block, not too difficult. He's a retired construction worker whose passion is moving heavy items. His feats always draw a crowd, mostly family. I thought he was crazy. Who cares about moving blocks around? But then when you look at the, the magnitude of the weights that he's moving around, it is, it is really impressive and he's not using any equipment or anything. In playing with blocks, Wally thinks he's discovered how Stonehenge was moved. This is my first Stonehenge arch I permanently put in place. Uh, it's three blocks, they weigh over a ton each. It's all based on a very simple technique. I found a simple explanation for this, uh, to move a block about the weight of a minivan, would be to place a stone underneath it. And once I balance on it, I can spin it. Of course, with that spin, you've seen I didn't go anywhere. But I got two handles on my lever, and I could place another stone on this side. Now, every time I spin a half rotation, uh, on each stone, I move the block horizontally the distance between the stones. With my own output, I could move a uh, one-ton block 300 feet per hour. Using this technique, he's moved everything from one-ton blocks to buildings. He moved up to a pole barn at one point, a 30 by 40 pole barn, that he moved 300 feet for me. And it was more or less, you know, what else can we move? And he looked at me and says, hey, can we move your barn? And I said, sure, let's, you know, next thing you know, it was 300 feet in the other direction onto another piece of property. It can move barns. And while he's betting, it moves Stonehenge's 25-ton rocks. But raising these giants is a whole different puzzle. This is 19,200 pounds. Yeah, it's 128 square feet of, uh, cubic feet of concrete. Today, Wally hopes to solve it. He'll put one of his theories to the test and try to stand this 19,200-pound block by himself. I've tried to do this without any mechanical machinery at all. I've used uh, mostly sticks and uh, stones for my equipment. Uh, no pulleys, no hoists, no uh, metal levers. Uh, just try to use gravity, too, I believe is my favorite tool. Whoop. The first goal is getting this block three feet off the ground. In order to move it up to this point, I just rock the block back and forth, adding weight to that end, and that opens a gap on this side, and uh, just slide a board in. Then I add the weight to that end, there she goes, and slide a board in on this end. This shoring box acts like a jack, slowly raising the block. It's three feet off the ground, but tomorrow is the big experiment, standing it up. The grandkids have taken the day off school, and the cameras are rolling. Hey, you guys watch Papa. He's going to do something wild. They're here to watch Grandad lift a block the weight of two bulldozers. It's ready. Yes, it is. Here's how it's supposed to work. The first thing I'm going to do here is release this temporary shoring I have set, and come over here, release some of my counterweights, and that's going to put the entire weight of the block on this rope. So then I'm going to release the rope, come back in, and the rope's going to be my break. I'm going to guide it into the pit. The easiest way I can explain this is the, this is just a big teeter-totter, and i got the big kid on that end, and he's going to go down, and this end's going up. He believes in his technique, but he's had some setbacks in the past. One day I got thrown over top of a block, and a couple times I had the blocks roll off the top and almost land on my feet. One time I knocked myself out cold on the concrete. And so it's uh, it's been challenging. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Now just start spraying the sand. The sand will wash out, and the block will start coming down. Once the sand is washed from the pit, the block's own weight slowly stands it up. 
Okay, finally, she's between the lines, guys. Looks good. He did it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Raised a massive block using a technique so simple that Wally believes it must have been used to raise Stonehenge. If they were to use this technique to raise the stones at Stonehenge, I believe they could have they got it uh, done with a lot smaller crew than anybody has imagined before. It won't be long before this backyard is a little more crowded. This is my first block in the circle. I plan to have eight of them standing on end like that, all up 11 feet in height. The next one may be a little heavier. We're going to keep going a little further with it. Until then, the only mystery that remains is this stone circle's name. Wally's Wonder Circle. <laughs> How about the Wallington Circle? Uh, what's that? What's that? Stonehenge Reloaded. Uh, there you go. <laughs>